Hello, my true crime sleuths, my tarot detectives. Maddie, they're going to get you for that. Who was Adam? What's Adam's role? We're going to dig into this. And what did Adam mean by, Maddie, they're going to get you for the... We're going to dig into that today. But before we get into it, a little bit of business we got to take care of first. Disclaimer! Everything in this video and all other videos and every case on this channel is for entertainment purposes only. Not based on fact. It is just my opinion. My interpretation of the cards. I encourage each and every one of you to do your own research and form your own opinion. After all, I'm just a blonde throwing cards. One of you wonderful subscribers sent this to me through my website. Which brings me to the next point. I see a lot of video requests in the comments. You want something on my list? You need to go to my website, mysticgen.com, fill out the video request form. Anyhow, one of, my, one of you wonderful subscribers had sent this to me. It was a post on Reddit. I went on Reddit and I did some screenshots of the post. And this is what we're going to talk about today. And this is what I'm going to throw a few cards on at the end. To see what the cards have to say about this. But I'm going to go ahead and read this to you. So let's get going. According to Stacy Chaplin, Chaplin, during her and Jim's November 17th extended interview, BF told Ethan's triplets what she heard through the night. She told the triplets she heard loud male voices. Take a note, not voice, voices. Ethan yelling and the other male voices she believed were guys in the fraternity. Hello. So she heard more than one perpetrator and Ethan yelling loud, yet DM didn't. Hmm. BF also heard furniture getting knocked around, rampaging through the second floor, Murphy barking, and then a loud thud. Multiple past tenants who had rooms on that first floor said it is very hard to hear anything above, which makes sense when you look at where the tie add-on was for BF to have heard Ethan and other guys yelling loudly it would have impossible for DM on the same floor as those guys not to hear it BF genuinely thought what she was hearing was a continuation of the frat party fight that she also witnessed. You see that line. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I might be wrong on this. But I believe the police were denying any kind of evidence in regards to a frat party. She observed the very heated and aggressive fight that E and X, E and Xana had with a certain David of the Davids. And I believe we're talking about what a lot of us sleuths call Dirty South. Okay? In fact, the frat fight, it was getting so bad that X pulled E away and got him out of there. The same David is seen in his big white truck slowly passing K, M, and J, S. 
in the CCTV clip of them walking from the corner club to the grub truck. You know, and as I go through this article, you're going to see even other people are questioning why haven't police looked at this? Why aren't they investigating this grub truck incident? Is it true that Adam and JD were picked up at the club as soon as the girls left and they were picked up by the Davids? Does the CC not have security videos? CC, they're referring to the corner club. Um, do they not have video security videos that can see who leaves? and what time and outside surveillance watching the vehicles was JS staying near the girls so he could give updates of when they left the day to when they left to the Davids JD and Adam coincidentally while the girls were waiting for their food at the truck Adam appears to also get food when the girls aren't looking, he signals to J.S. the sleeping sign about the girls. I suppose he could just meant the girls were sleepy, but he could also have meant they would wait for the girls until they went to sleep. When Adam leaves, you hear a truck rev its motor and can see the same big white truck in the reflection of the window. How is it not suspect that David's truck slowly passes by while the three are walking in the area where no one else is? If you watch the video, you'll see him pass them and get into a parking spot only to turn his truck back around obviously to pass them and see where they are why hasn't MPD ever discussed this that truck was clearly watching the girls hours before they died did they look into who owned the truck did MPD confiscate the David's Adam and JD and JS's phones were those guys in contact during that night? Did Adam call the Davids to tell them what Maddie told him? Quotation mark, everything. Why did MPD never discuss that entire situation? We know Maddie told Adam information that was serious because Kay was concerned and JS's response was, they're going to get you, Maddie. Is that coincidence that J.S. says that and a few hours later, someone or someones did get Maddie? Is it just a coincidence that E and X had a big fight with David hours before? Then that David picks Adam and allegedly J.D., up at the club right after the girls left and right after M told Adam serious information. Info that would cause multiple people to get her. JS didn't say he was going to get you. He said they, meaning several. Is it also just a coincidence that the same David that fought with X and E hours before their murder also had a verbal altercation with M at, at that Friday night house party? Is it just a coincidence that three of the four murders just happened to be on bad terms with the Davids? Is it true that the Davids were hazing Hudson? L, the night he drowned, did he really drown because he fell into Paradise Pond on campus even though he was a multi-champion swimmer? 
is the rumor true that he was actually waterboarded by the Davids and Adam when he accidentally died? Is it true that one of the Davids repeated this info to multiple students because he felt guilty? Why did one of the Davids write on his social media the week of the murders? What a weekend. I probably should feel sorry, but I don't. What was he talking about? Why did he delete that post after he retained an attorney? Where are J.S., David L., David B., and Adam now? We're going we're gonna to ask this. We're going to dive into this today. Be prepared, this could be a long video. Why did all four retain attorneys ASAP if they weren't even suspects? How did BK manage to not only kill four people in under 20 minutes, but minutes, but, multi but mutilate Ethan and Kaylee? Possibly the others, but definitely Kaylee and Ethan. How did BK manage to toss blood up and down the walls of the hall and the stairs yet walk out without blood all over him and left none in his car or home? Why was the second floor furniture knocked around and all over the place? Why did BF hear fighting above her and multiple male voices? Let me repeat that multiple male voices if BK quietly snuck in killed everyone no one was heard besides the I'm here to help you and Xana crying why did DM's version and BF's completely contradict each other why did MPD choose to use DM's version and not BF's if DM opened her door and yelled to the killers to be quiet, why was she spared? If she yelled from her room, they would have known she was in there, yet they quietly passed her even though she knew she heard them and possibly saw them. Why did DM have multiple photos of herself holding K bar knife? Why did multiple Sigma Chai boys or Sigma Chi boys have photos holding K bars, swords, and a machete. Why did University of Idaho shut down Sigma Chi's page on their school website after the murders but didn't shut down any other frat pages? Interesting. Why were nine police and undercover officer vehicles outside Sigma Chi's dorm or building the week after the murders? Why did LE do room searches and Sigma Chi members? Of Sigma Chi members, did LE confiscate the K-bars, swords, and machetes that multiple Sigma Chi boys owned? Why did the University of Idaho hold a special mandatory meeting for Sigma Chi and have multiple pastors? Oh my God, multiple pastors speak and tell the boys they needed to call on God for forgiveness and salvation. Does the school think all students need God? Why do Sigma, Chi, Sigma boys need God's forgiveness and forgiveness for what? Forgiveness for what? This post on Reddit raises a ton of questions that MPD isn't touching, isn't addressing. There's a lot here. I'm going to try to get it all into one video. What are you thinking right now? I know what I'm thinking. Sus to us, as Crime Circus would say. Sus to us. And this is kind of reinforcing my idea of BK being the fall guy. But what is his connection to the fraternity? I, I, that will either be in this video or um, next one of the next videos on the Idaho 4. 
I, I, I don't think I've ever dived into what is BK's connection. But that's kind of dig into this shit. Okay, I'm in a little bit of a different setting. Um, I do have a jacket on, but uh, let me adjust this a little bit. But um, I'm outside because it was in the mid-60s. I, I could see the temperatures dropping a little bit. But the day is just gorgeous. Um, I used to love to do readings outside. Sometimes I would do lives outside. And the camera's too low. But anyhow, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into what, um, what this is all about. I first want to kind of dig into Bethany. Um, you know, there's all these questions. She, why? Let's see. What is the first question that we want to ask? Um, you know, she male voices um, is it true that Adam and JD were picked up okay so let's just kind of start with what did kind of like what did Bethany here that night that the unalivings occurred. What did Bethany hear? What did Bethany hear? Four swords in the reverse. Oh my gosh, the devil. Uh, heinous. She heard a lot of... It's like hell. Hell in the house. Queen of Cups, there she is. Um, Eight of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. This is my fraternity house. This is the community, extended family, fraternity brothers. Okay. So, what I'm getting here is Bethany, dead center. She heard a lot of chaos. But she's kept herself bound in her room. She will not leave. And the blindfold is telling me she it's not not what she see saw, it's what she heard. Okay? And she heard what she thought were the frat brothers. And the cards are verifying that she heard fraternity brothers in the house that night. And there was a lot of negativity, fighting, arguing. And it felt like a hell house is what I'm getting. And the five of swords in the reverse. It's kind of telling me upright is bullying. Okay. In the reverse is somebody throwing in the towel. Um, somebody giving into this negative energy. And this is more like in the reverse reminds me of a victim. Okay, you know, the victims fell prey to something really evil, really negative. And Bethany kept herself locked up in her room. She didn't really see anything, but she kind of, but her ears were open. And I asked, what did she hear? She heard people in the house, multiple people. Page of Cups in the reverse. With that four of or five of swords in the reverse. Highly emotional cries. Um, giving up. It was not. I mean, it was a. It, it was like the party's over now. With this negative energy, 
and I'm relating this to the party, a negative energy that started at the party. Ten of Cups in the reverse with her. She's seeing her whole family being torn apart, her house being upside down. Um, and I feel like she kind of knew what was going on. She really didn't want to stay in her room, but she felt she had to. And there's the victims. Empress in the reverse. No more love, no more nurturing in that home. There's um, the frat. This is telling me the frat brothers were there when the unalivings occurred. Allegedly speaking, entertainment purposes only. Okay. The next thing I want to know is... Um, I'm going to refer to my note, re refer to the, what I just read to you guys. Um, now, there's kind of a confirmation that there was a fight at a party that, and that was already answered. Um, okay, so, um, Dirty South. Um, a question was posed, is it true that Adam and J.D. were picked up at the club as soon as the girls left? And they were picked up by the Davids? Um, why, was he, why was J.S. staying near the girls and were they really picked up? Let's start with, um, did the Davids pick up Adam? And um, JD, did the Davids pick up Adam and JD right after the girls left? Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Knight of Cups. There's JD. That's one side of him. Two of Cups. Ten of Wands. And Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, there was some kind of transportation away from those that were not working with him there's people there was a lack of cooperation i'm kind of wondering if it was from the girls i will find out in a minute a lack of cooperation which he moved to go i think he wanted to go see kaylee there was an argument oh there was an argument between him and kaylee that was burdensome and what followed you know, it was like not acting alone, um, not being alone, not feeling very stable. Okay, he was not feeling very stable. The death. That's the ending. It's like the girls did not want to deal with JD. They did not want to work with JD. And he moved in a way, um, Knight of Cups, that was, this is a crime. Committing a crime based on his emotions. Ace of Wands, because he thought that something could be rekindled with Kaylee. He was feeling hurt, wounded, rejected, and that was a little bit more than what he could bear. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So this was definitely 
I've been getting that Ten of Pentacles a lot in the reverse in these readings. Sometimes upright, sometimes in the reverse. This is saying he may have went for help. Uh, he didn't go to the he didn't go to the house. He went for to talk to somebody. He went for help at the fraternity. Um, a lot of bullying that he was worried about. Nine of Swords. Um, were the girls bullying him? Um, King of Cups. He was trying to maintain control. And there's the victim. Yes. The girls were bullying him. Okay. And he was acting. He was losing control of his emotions. He was trying to keep them in control. But he was losing control of them. Highly emotional. Wearing his heart on his sleeve. And he acted in a way that was out of character for him. And Nine of Swords and Empress bookending each other while they slept. This is literal, literal to me. While they slept, there's the knives. Okay. Allegedly speaking, entertainment purposes only. Um, JD knows what's hap what happened to them. Um, allegedly speaking, I think he was involved. I think. I'm not going to confirm that. Um, let's see about Adam. Because <coughs> if you recall about that, what did you tell Adam? Maddie, what did you tell Adam? Oh, I told Adam everything. Jack S., Maddie, they are going to get you for that. So, I want to know if Adam ran to JD and told him what Maddie said. <coughs> Excuse me. And JD already in a not such good place emotionally. Um, that was that the like the straw that broke the camel's back. That's kind of what I'm feeling. The straw that broke the camel's back. So, let's see. Did Adam? Um, run to JD with everything that Maddie told him. Magician in the reverse. Manipulative. Oh, he didn't. This is like guarding a secret, guarding something. Keeping something close to your chest. This is getting it off your chest. Okay. Um, two of cups in the reverse. There's something there dealing with Maddie too. Or dealing with Kaylee. That was told to Jack. Um, and getting caught. It's like. I don't want to speak. I'm not trying to speak ill of, of any of the victims. But it just feels like Kaylee did something behind Jack's back. And with the influence of alcohol, Maddie's mouth ran to Jack, or to Adam. And Queen of Wands. It's almost like Kaylee started seeing somebody or something like that shortly after they broke it off. And... She didn't want Jack to know. And the cat got out of the bag. Jack was looking at her as being manipulative. So was Adam. Adam was roommates with Jack. And had Jack's back. So no, he didn't hold anything back. He told her. Or he told Jack. Adam told Jack what was going on here. There's something with Kaylee. There's justice. Um... Manipulative. 
there's the hermit. It's like, did Kaylee have somebody there at the house? Um, and this is inside the house. Did he go into the house? It almost feels like he did. Um, there's the strength card. There's a lot of this. It's almost like I get this energy of Jack being overtaken by his emotions and rage. <clears throat> um, seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, everything he cultivated with Kaylee just being uprooted. Because it doesn't feel like Kaylee was known to hide things from him. But there's something she was hiding. And there it is, the Three of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. It almost He almost feels like they were broken up, but in his mind they weren't quite broken up. And she's got somebody else that she's seeing. And, uh, and he was really hurt, almost looking at her as a cheater. And then the tower happened. He kind of exploded. He could not contain himself anymore. He tried, but he definitely did not act alone. He did not act alone. Um, Ace of Cups, there's the emotions. Um, and that is, is, could even be representation of blood spilling. Ace of Swords, there's a knife. There you go. I can't make this shit up. This is, he didn't act alone. There was a tower moment, right? Didn't act alone. There was a tower moment. And there's the weapon. And yes, there's the blood spilling. I'm telling you as I'm sitting here. He had some sort of involvement. And I'm, as I'm sitting here, yes. It, Adam ran his mouth because he thought he was having his buddy's back. That he should know what was going on, what Kaylee was doing. Um, let's see what other questions are in this. Okay, the sleeping thing, when he was signaling in there about sleep. Um, I just want to throw a couple cards on now. What is this about the sleep, please? What was he meaning by sleep? And that was Jack S., I think, signaling that, right? Yes, Jack S. did one of these. And um, kind of wondering what that means. Was he saying that the girls are tired? Or was it saying uh, after they fall asleep is when we enact our plan? Man, these cards don't really want to shuffle either. Holy cow. One more shuffle. So what did Jack S. mean by the sleep signal? This is, this is not accepting an opportunity, waiting. This is like, as soon as the opportunity comes up, they're taking advantage of it. Queen of Cups in the reverse. We're going to return to the house. Okay, this is saying returning to the house, not walking away. We're not walking away from this. We're returning to the house. Um, being um, tunnel-minded, hang that in a reverse. This feels like something being that was not being suspended. We are not waiting. We are not waiting. We're not happy about this, and we're going to do what, what we feel is right. Um... This is like saying we cannot overlook what was said tonight. There was more to it. Five of swords in reverse again. Extreme anger. There's the sun. Um, you know, everything being exposed out in the open. There is the heartbreak. Um... Could be the weapons in the heart. Just saying. But somebody broke a heart. 
Decision being made. Um, no longer at that crossroads. We're not waiting. We're doing this tonight. It does go against the norms. It goes against the rules. It goes against the laws that were put forth. Totally chaotic, out of control. Um, it was a chaotic mess. So, uh, what I'm getting here is there's a sense of I'm feeling more like when they've given up or retired for the night um, and all hell breaks loose. When they return home Oh my God, when they when the girls return home. When they return home. When they've got their guard down. So there was something about the girl when when the girls got get home, probably this is not saying to me that the girls are tired. Um this is more saying to me, we strike, I feel more like, there's something about them returning home. So it's almost like after they return home and they get into bed. Okay. Doesn't mean they have to be asleep, but it's like when they are in bed. Um, let's check into this David's energy. Show me David. Um, this David, um, Dirty South. We'll just call him Dirty South because that's... Show me the energy of Dirty South, please. In connection with this, was was Dirty South connected with these unalivings? Was Dirty South connected to 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 these unalivings? You know, and I'm hearing, I'm getting some downloads as I'm doing this. Hudson. Was there something about, there might have been even something about Hudson in that conversation. And that, I think, I don't know why I want to say that. I feel... Something in connection with Hudson. And that is something that Maddie spilled. And Jackass was saying they're going to get you for that, Maddie. They. Not he, but they are going to get you for that, Maddie. I don't know. It, it, I was just thinking, it, it just Hudson just came to my mind. Even he, I did talk about him briefly earlier. Because that's what this Reddit post had in there. He just came to my mind. Oh, Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. David. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Or returning, which he did. Coming back, not walking away from this. Two of Wands in the reverse. A decision I can't come back from. Crossroads. Temperance in the reverse. Lack of moderation. Um, the Moon in the reverse. For being exposed... This is somebody who whose temper is out of control for being exposed also. He had motive. Three of swords in the reverse with a you know, this is a, t a turn of, of events for the worst. The star. Um I can't turn away from this path now. Because I was told on Somebody made a bad decision and opened their mouth and t to tell on me. Blood is going to spill. Ace of Cups in the reverse with the temperance. 
There's no healing of this. There's no fixing this now. Justice in the reverse is a lack of justice, lack of balance. It is a crime. And that's going back to... Um, I feel like what has been exposed was a crime. You know, I was talking about Hudson. I think I'm going to have to do a video on him. Because this is about a crime being exposed. Um, and there's a lot of water here. That just drew my attention. Literally, water. Okay? So, something about a crime dealing with water, and that is Hudson. Now, there, there is this fear of getting caught. And when news got out that Maddie was talking, that changed fate. And this is unable to heal from that. There's no fix. I just keep on saying there's no way to fix this. There's no way to fix this. And they're afraid that uh, who else Maddie would tell. And Kaylee was targeted because of Jack. And upstairs, uh, and then they're on the, or on the second floor, Zana and Ethan were targeted because of the fight with the, at the fraternity party. So there, there was a there were two. I feel at least two motives. More like three. Zana and Ethan were one. Kaylee was two. And Maddie was three. And they decided. Well, if one goes, they all go. we go, and they coordinated. And created the hit to come about all at once. All at one time. They took them all out. Um, and there's this thing about K Bar Nice with, um, with Dylan. Was it Dylan? Oh, yeah, it was Dylan, I believe, with a K-Bar knife. The Fraternity Brothers had K-Bar knives. I think Dylan had to make sure. Dylan played some kind of role. Now, she knew that Kay Kaylee was coming into town. Um, I'm wondering if Kaylee was just the original target and then everything else just kind of blew up. And they took everybody down. But I want to know more about Dylan's role. Let's take a look. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Nine of Cups in the reverse. There's a little bit of overindulgence here. Page of Swords in the reverse. A discovery. It's not watching anymore. It's like the Page of Swords learned some information. Eight of Cups. King of Cups. Okay. There is definitely some kind of spying. And it feels like, you know, she had some animosities against the girls. I th I'm seeing jealousy with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. And what 
somebody was expecting from her or wanted from her was she had to keep an eye out and literally spy. This is gathering information, research stuff. In the reverse, it is using it in a negative manner is what I'm picking up. So she was spying and let to let them know, let somebody know when the three returned home. Or at least Kaylee and Maddie. Six of Cups, the friends. Or lack of temperance, patience. They're patiently waiting. They're creating this concoction, this plan. Um, King of Swords. He's one of the perps. She was watching for one of the perps. Perpetrators. Six of Swords. In the house. Four of Wands. So. Somebody. They came in. Did what they needed to do. And they left. But her job was to report to this King of Swords. The comings and goings. Of the girls and meanwhile pretending to be their friend I'm telling you I think she was reporting to Jack D yeah and she's probably also reporting to the gr a group not just one she wasn't acting alone either reporting of you know, hey, they're, they're still awake. They're still awake. And there's, you got to be patient. They're still awake. There feels like that there was some kind of reporting going on. Um, I think Dylan was the spy in the camp and reporting to one of the perpetrators, one of the people with an axe to grind. She was reporting to them the comings and goings of the girls. So, what do you think? Very suspicious here. Um, the last thing I'm going to ask is why did the Sigma, Chi, Sigma, Sigma Chi brothers need forgiveness? They weren't going to any other frat houses, just Sigma Chi. Why does Sigma Chi need forgiveness? Let's just ask that. And then I will end this. Because I don't want this to be too long for you guys. What did Sigma Chi fraternity brothers need forgiveness for? What did Sigma Chi fraternity brothers need forgiveness for? What did Sigma Chi fraternity brothers need forgiveness for? I noticed that Jack and or Xana and Ethan's energy didn't come on strong in this reading. I think it was because we're so focused on Jack D and Adam and stuff that it, a lot of this is around Kaylee and um, Maddie. Ace of Swords in the reverse. That's the weapon. Two of Swords. Six of Cups in the reverse. Five of Swords in the upright this time. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Now, so far what I get with those cards is, you know, what did they need forgiveness for? For the decision that they did that they cannot turn back from Involved the friends in the reverse, the departure of the friends for the 
acts that occurred that night in order to free their soul for forgiveness. And I think to offer some kind of protection around them moving forward. I got the Ace of Swords in the reverse, Ace of Cups in the reverse. That, folks, I can't make this shit up. This is the, the act that happened and the spilling of bodily fluids. And the Two of Swords with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Somebody who acted out of haste. Somebody who acted very impulsively. A, a really chaotic situation that a decision was made on impulse. One that they could not turn back from. King of Pentacles in the revert, in the upright. So there's somebody here that might even be the minister. Praying for the victims and praying for Sigma Chi, Chi uh, Kai that they needed. They needed forgiveness. Whoever this church leader was, no, there's no smoke screen. There's nothing hiding anything from him. He knows what happened. He knows exactly what happened. And this here, with the temperance, to release their cell from the sin, forgiveness from the sin of what they did, and healing. Folks, that's what I, uh, without me saying any more, that's what I get. A lot of you have been hinting around who did this, who did this. Hopefully you caught on who did this and there folks I dropped the mic